their unfortunate past experiences. Um, but yeah, I'd like the independent review to, to cover as much of the culture as possible and make sure it's where it needs to be. The review will give athletes like Francesca Fox, one of Team GB's rhythmic gymnasts in 2012, the opportunity to tell their story. She admits she's still damaged by a career dominated by body shame. It was an obsession and I could weigh myself six to ten times a day because I got made to feel like I had to be a certain way rather than me being just me. I was told constantly that I was fat, that I looked like a hippo, that I couldn't jump because I was too big. Me and my partner, obviously, we're hoping to start a family sooner or later, but with these issues, it's not with him, it's with me. I don't want my body to change, and obviously I have to accept I'm going to get stretch marks. I may blow, I may put on weight, and I can't deal with that just yet. Francesca Fox, just one of many traumatised souls whose pain went either unnoticed or ignored in the name of British sport. Steve, this story grows and grows after you broke it yesterday, and British Gymnastics will be hoping that the inquiry that they've called for draws a line under this, but do you think it will? Uh, I'm not so sure. I don't think so. First and foremost, Riley, I think former gymnasts are going to want convincing that this is genuinely an independent review without fear or favour, because so many of them experienced in the, in the past we have spoken to, they've made complaints and they've just been brushed under the carpet. But it is the reason why they've all been speaking out. They did want an inquiry of, of some sort. And as you know, we've heard from some very powerful voices, some very brave and courageous women, young women in the last couple of days. And they've forced British gymnastics to take this action. But... They are far from the only ones. There are many, many more with shocking stories, very sad stories. And yes, they might wait for an inquiry to tell them, but my feeling is this is just a, an avalanche of shame that's going to just keep gaining speed. Well, we'll follow it closely with your reporting. Thanks very much, Steve. Now, in the past three months, the Chancellor Rishi Sunak has taken some credit for his handling of the economy during its most difficult time for centuries. Tomorrow, he has to try to do it again in what amounts to a mini budget. He will unveil plans to boost the economy. Among them, we've learned, is a scheme to help 16 to 24 year olds, the biggest losers in the collapse of the hospitality industry. He's also expected to announce a cut in VAT for hospitality businesses and declare a stamp duty holiday for houses under half a million.